Hello, God bless you. You are welcome to this to this service today. It's a Bible study. The Lord put this in my heart to share. God bless you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we bless you and we worship you. Asking, Lord, as your work comfort, let it immunize our hearts. Give us understanding into your word. Let your word bring forth fruit in our life. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. I'm sharing with you this afternoon um, the wonders in the world. We all know this. We have covered some of the story very well. I will read from the book of um, Luke. We're talking about John and Jesus, Jesus and John. We all know that John and Jesus, they are cousins by the grace of God. And each of them was announced by the angel. The angel of the Lord visited both Elizabeth and Mary. I just read briefly. I won't take much of your time. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the household of David. The virgin name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Praise the Lord. The Lord visited Mary to announce the purpose and plan of God for her. We all know that Mary was conceived by the Holy Ghost. Though he was betrayed to Joseph, but he was conceived by the Holy Ghost. Just immediately the angel visited her, he went straight to, to, to Elizabeth and announced the same, the same. Elizabeth was a wife to Zacharias. Verse 20, I'm reading from um, Luke, um, thank you Jesus. It's Luke 1. Verse 26, now the first one was 26. I'm reading verse 20, 25. And the angel of the Lord answered, sent to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, that the Holy Ghost, who is to be born, and the only one who is to be born, will be called the Son of God. Praise the Lord. Verse 20, 36 says, Now indeed, your relative has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is how, and and this is now the sixth month for who was called Barry. The story is like both of them were cousins. By the grace of God, thank you, Jesus. Sandarabo Shakatalebo Sende Kalama City. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus came into the world to die for the sin of mankind. That was the purpose. The book of John, first, uh, first John chapter 3, verse 8 says, For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest to destroy the works of the devil. That was the essence. That was the, that was the plan, purpose, and plan of God for our Lord Jesus Christ. He came to destroy the works of the devil. John was given birth to as a forerunner to be a witness of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was the forerunner. If you look at the book of, uh, book of John, it said, Behold, the lamp of God that taketh away all sin. He was a forerunner. He was a witness to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was the one who announced him to the world. Praise the Lord. He was the one who announced him to the world and... And by the grace of God, they are cousins. Hallelujah. It was the one who baptized the Lord Jesus Christ. I read that from the book of uh, Matthew chapter 3. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized of him. And John tried to prevent him saying, I have need to be baptized by you and you have come to me. Thank God for humility. And Jesus sat and said to him, 
permits me to be now, but it is fitting for us to fulfill all law of righteousness. Then he followed him, verse 26, when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heaven were open. He was a physical witness. There was a seal from above that this is the one. Praise the Lord. And when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to him. And it was the Spirit of God descending like a dove, lighting upon him. And a voice came saying, Praise the Lord. And a voice said, okay, This is my beloved son, on whom I am well pleased. There was a seal. It was a physical witness. There was a seal from above. It was the one who baptized Jesus. He knew fully where who Jesus was. He knew fully where, where Jesus came. They are cousins. The wonders of the world. You might won't be wondering what she's talking about. It's the wonders. This is somebody you know very well. It's your cousin. And both of you grew up together. You know the purpose why he came. Let's go to, let's look at the book of, um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Matthew 11. Now it came to pass, when Jesus finished commanding his twelve disciples, that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. He knew, Jesus knew why he came, he just focused. He reasoned his message, just focus. Despite the wonders of the world that want to distract you, bless you, make you to be less focused on the Lord who has called you. But one thing you have to know, know who you are. If you know who you are in him that has called you into his marvelous light, you will not miss it. Praise the Lord. That's the essence of this message. Look at John. They grew together with cousins. You know the purpose why Jesus came. He was the one who announced him to the world. Behold the lamp of God who taketh away all sin. Now in this passive verse, mind you, um, mind you 11. And it came to pass, Jesus was now focused on his ministry. Now it came to pass, Matthew 11, 1, it came to pass when Jesus finished commanding his 12 disciples and he departed there to teach and to preach in their city. That is the purpose why it, it came. Teaching, preaching, deliverance, healing, to set the captives free, those who are bound. The essence of why he came to set those who have been bound. That's why he came. Okay? Verse and verse 2 says, And when Jesus had heard in prison the words of Jesus, he sent two of his disciples. At this time, he was doing his ministry. John was in prison. John was in prison. He now sent two of his disciples because he had said the wonders, the great things that Jesus was now doing. Herod has imprisoned him. The Bible says he now says two of his disciples to go and check what is he doing. Verse 3 says, And he said to him, Are you the one coming, or do, or do we look for another? Oh my God. Maskale kuraka yandele. Buske lande lande kuraka yende kalamaske. Maske lande lamba. I decree and I declare that those who have rejoiced with you will not now see the wonders. The higher dimension God has ordained for you now become sowing seed of discord, trying to castigate you, oppose you, and talk you away from the God event purpose. Imagine asking, are you the one we are expecting? Or there is some wonder. How do you feel? You grow up together, cousins. The mother must have told how both of them were born. How the angel came to announce. So why are you not asking? Are you the one? If it was you, how do you think? You'll be doubting. Am I really doing the right thing? Did God really call me? Did God really ask me to be doing what I'm doing now? Or I'm just trying to show off? No, you're not showing off. You're fulfilling your purpose. You are looking at me now. Focus. 
Know who you are in Christ Jesus because there are wonders in the world. Because exactly what happened to Jesus now is still happening. People want to talk you away, want to toss you away. You will use all manner of things. But focus. Focus. Our Lord Jesus Christ endure to the very end. We all knew how, all that he went through. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, those that knows the law. They were the one tormenting him. But he focused. Though it was not easy, but the Lord strengthened him in his inner man. The Lord strengthened him in his inner man. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, and he said, Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things you have seen. We what? But there are words, but there are deeds which are not them. That's what the, that's what the Bible say. But there are words, but there are deeds which are not them. He said, "Go and tell. What are you seeing? Go and set them the lame walk, the blind see. People are set getting set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. The blind will see, the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. I'm reading verse five. The dead has raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Hallelujah. Go and tell him what you are seeing. Has he missed the mark? Was he not confused because he was in prison? Anyway, nobody knows because when one is in bondage, anything can happen. I pray and I declare that God will put you in a place, in a position where you will be encouraged, you will be strengthened in your inner man. That the, the power of God, the strength of God will be released. Because if Jesus was not strengthened, he would have been doubting, how can my cousin be telling me, are you the one to come and there is another? It's, it's, it's strange. It is very, very strange. But our Lord Jesus Christ didn't allow that to distract him. I mean, I indulge you by the mercy of God. I don't know what you're going through. Hold on to the truth words of the world. Hold on to the word of the God. The word of the Lord is power. It is only the word that can strengthen you. It's only the word that can build up your faith. I've come to know that. There's no one that can help you. Hold on. The psalmist say, I will look up to the heat. Here comes my help. My help comes from who? From the one that has made the heaven and the earth. Are you the one to come while you do expect another? That you are condemning him. This is you who baptized him. And you saw when the heaven opened upon him. I decree and I declare, as you are listening to me now, that the Lord will give you an atmosphere for miracles. There is a, there is a place called death. When you are there, you will be uplifted. You will be strengthened. Because... With that question, it's enough to turn somebody off and say, oh, look at what my cousin is saying. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing, but he didn't lose hope. Hallelujah. He strengthened up himself. He said, go and tell him what you are saying. With what I'm doing, go and tell him. Praise the Lord. I, I, when I was meditating, I said, if John has clicked to him, I don't think he would have been in prison. If he has supported, I don't think the Pharisees and the Sadducees would, though I know everybody has their own ministry, even as a believer, just as we have the ministry, some of them, they give it themselves to the enemy to use against one another. They have a ministry. They have a ministry. It would have been with our Lord Jesus. You would be thinking somebody who was a foreigner, who, who foreigner, who are not seeing, would be with him, but he wasn't there. And he was still doubting. That doubt is enough for, for someone to give up. But Jesus never gave up. And as I continue on this passage, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? Let's read. He didn't speak evil about him. He didn't speak evil about him at all. He said of, a wo of those born of a woman, he has never seen anybody like John the Baptist. He never spoke evil about him. The divide began to say to these multitudes concerning him, what did you go out to, to the wilderness to see? I, I read by the wind, 
But what did you go out to see? A man clothing. He was talking. He was. I don't want to take much of the time. If you read it up to the end, it to verse um, 20, 32, you will see how he was praising John the Baptist. It's a prophet. He was he never spoke evil about him. And this is our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the attribute of who we are, of who we are to emulate, not speaking evil about. No matter what it is, just hold on to our Lord Jesus Christ. Believe God. How can John the Baptist? The purpose why he was born? And I ask him, are you the one to? And you were the one who addressed him, say, is 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 true latched, you are not able to to lose or to tie. But it came to a time. Why? Because of the great things the Lord was using our Lord Jesus Christ to do. It was like he changed his mind. No, it ought not to be. Know who you are and be in the right fellowship. Be in the right company. Atmosphere. There's an atmosphere for miracle because light begat light. You have to be a lighty with the word of God and focus on God. If you focus on God to the very end, the Lord will see you through. You will not be distracted. You will not be you will not be distracted. You will never be distracted. Let's focus on God. Let's love the Lord. Let's love the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's encourage one another. Let's be a builder. We are all builders in the hands of the Lord. We are all builders in the hands of our Lord. Let us focus. Let us seek the face of the Lord and find out that which he has for each and every one of us. There is a place for every one of us. I have made up my mind to focus on what he has given to me. Everything I'm doing is a line. Even this recording, I wasn't supposed to. You just say, Gary, you have to sit down. Don't shy away. Focus on me. I will lead you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Because the Bible says in the book of uh, 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 Roman 8 verse 1, There is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. The battle might be strong, but we are on the victory side. That is what the book of John, 1 John. 1 John, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. Whatsoever is born of God overcome the world, and this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. If you are born of God, you overcome the world. You overcome the, the tatties. The tatties of the world. Whoever that is born of God overcome. The battles is there, but we are fighting on the victory side. And victory is us in Jesus' name. The Lord will strengthen us and uphold us. Let's all be on the forerunner of each other, proclaiming and encouraging one another. That is what God has called us to be, to encourage one another and to pray for one another and to be strengthened in our inner man, to do the work the Lord has called each and every one of us. We are all co-laborers. There's no one that is special. We are all co-laborers. You'll you find your place. i find my place. I'll find my place since I was three months old in the Lord. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just a baby in the law. When God now started affording. And it was a man of my pastor who now revealed to me, said, this is it, this is it. I don't know. Though I did it, he didn't even bother. But he started reading books. And I said, oh my God. If I knew, I would have been long time ago, not now. I didn't know. Maybe because of change of environment. If I had been in my country, maybe by now I would have been, I would have been, I would have gone far. My ministry would have grown because I have read books of great men of God, the generals, both, both life and dead. After reading their books, I just say, my God, oh Lord, what have I done to myself? Here I am. Lord, help me. 
So that is my message. The Lord bless you, and the Lord will cause his cause for us to shine upon you. We will not miss heaven. We will not give ourselves to the enemy to use against one another. The Lord will strengthen and uphold every one of us with his right hand of righteousness. The wonders in the world, there is wonders. But in this world, we are an overcomer. Be a good chair. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord.